solving an equation by inspection is, is kind of nice. And in fact, we really might want to think some more about solving an equation by trial and error. Why? Well, we have a device available to us that can try a whole lot of guesses over and over and over again really, really quickly. We can use our calculator to find the solution to an equation by trial and error. So let's take a look at the equation that we solved by trial and error in the last video. 2 plus x equals negative 3. And let's suppose for a moment that we weren't sure that there was a 1 or a 5 or something involved here. Notice this equation is telling us that one expression is equal to another expression. What I want to do is go to my calculator and find a value for x for which the two expressions are equal. Just like I did when I was checking for equivalent expressions, I'm going to want to evaluate these two expressions over and over again. So again, I'm going to go to y equals on the calculator. So when I press that, again, I get this big list of y's. And the first thing I'm going to do is enter the first expression in y1. So I'll have 2 plus x. Remember to the calculator, every variable is, an, is a capital X. So in this case, the expression on the right is just the number negative 3. So I'm going to enter negative 3 in y2. And now I'm going to go again to the table. To get there, I'm going to press the second key and then the graph key. That gives me the table. OK, now I'm looking, and it looks like as my x's are getting bigger, these numbers are getting further and further apart. So I want to go through smaller x's. I want to scroll up. And I keep scrolling. Oh, there I am. When x is negative 5, y1 is negative 3 and y2 is negative 3. When we find the place where y1 and y2 are the same, that's our solution. We can use this for much more complicated sorts of equations as well. For example, suppose we wanted to use the calculator to solve this equation. Well, we have to remember that to the calculator, every variable is named x. But then we just enter this expression on the left, almost exactly as we see it. On the calculator, our 1 half is going to want to be in parentheses. So we've got 3 times x plus 1 minus 4 times 1 half is in parentheses x plus 3. And then the expression on the right, remembering again to the calculator every variable is x, 7x minus 21. Now we hit second graph. Look at the table. OK, it looks like if I scroll upward, these numbers are getting further apart. If I scroll downward, they're getting closer together. Oh, and here they're the same as each other. So my solution is going to be just n equals 2. Remember, my x value is the value of my variable. We can actually work this out by hand and confirm that that's really true. right? In the expression on the left, 3 times 2 plus 1 minus 4 times a half times 2 plus 3 
Let's see, working out the arithmetic in parentheses. 3 times 3 minus 4 times a half times 2 is 1 plus 3 is 4. So we have 9 minus 16 is negative 7. On the right, we have 7 times 2 minus 21. That's 14 minus 21. Again, negative 7. Since negative 7 and negative 7 are equal, the value n equals 2 really does make this equation true. So it really is the solution.